Today, it's another winner winner chicken dinner. Perfectly seared chicken breast stuffed with homemade pesto sauce and melty mozzarella. Oh, and then we're gonna top it with a savory, delicious tomato relish. Oh, weeknight dinner never tasted or looked so good. Man, that is the truth. It's a pretty dish. It's pretty and so darn yummy. So I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My pesto presto loon. That's right, I'm all about the pesto. He's, he's been manning the, uh, the tools lately, I, I tell you, it's <laughs> funny. So all right, let's get, this is a great chicken dish. It's wonderful. Weeknight, it's quick and easy, but it's so good and so beautiful, as the loon said. You can do it for like guests, for a dinner yeah. party, it's great. So, all right, I have got some chicken breasts here. Nowadays, you've probably seen it at the grocery store. If you go to buy a chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breast, they're like the size they're of city buses. They, I, they, I don't know, I think it must be the hormones or something. But anyway, so I, they're too big. So we want these to be nice and thin. So what I do is I just get those big old chicken breasts and then I get a nice sharp knife and just very carefully cut down the middle of them. And then you've got, look, Two chicken breasts. They're two perfect. Thin. Now, what I, I I want them really nice and thin because we it's we're gonna roll these babies up, uh, stuffed with that presto. So all I do, I've already done these, is I get myself like a big uh, Ziploc bag, or you can get wax paper or parchment paper. Hopefully you have a mallet, but if not, you know something that you can just use to kind of bang these out with. Yeah, there we go. And get out that aggression. I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry, chicken. So. Um, you want these, like I said, pretty thin, and they're gonna, I, this one's a little bigger than these. Oh, that's a good one, though. This is a good one, this will be yours. Yeah. Um, and so, I would say anywhere from, probably an eighth of an inch is what you're striving for. Um, and I think we're about there. Yeah, that's a that's nice, good great. size. One. These feed, I mean, depending on, the, like this is a bigger one, but once they're Ooh, stuffed. Yeah. That'd make a good schnitzel, too. It would make a good <laughs> schnitzel. Um, be careful. Chicken schnitzel. Chicken schnitzel. Be careful when you're doing, pounding that, because sometimes when they get a little thin, they start to come apart on you. And it's okay, we're gonna roll them up, they're gonna be fine, but okay, make presto. All right, let me, let me get going. Oh, you're gonna do that, okay. I'm gonna salt and pepper my. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I got some glove choreography going here. I'm just gonna salt. Totally do. Salt and pepper these on both sides both while sides. you make presto. Uh, uh, pesto. Okay, so I'm making the pesto, everybody. Yay! This is from our pesto plant outside. Oh, my it's, pesto plant. What, isn't it a bush or something? Oh no, the basil. <laughs> How long have we been doing this? I'm looking for the mozzarella plant. I, well, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> so the basil plant. Yeah. I just think of pe basil. I got, pesto. I'll be right back. I got to pick something off the lasagna plant. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is from our basil plant, and. Oh, it smells so it smells good, so and I think this is the last of it, too. I I've think. used so much I know. basil this season, and I love it. You I've got two cups of it here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Okay, I know. <laughs> well, you never know with the loon. All right, two cups of basil, and then I've got five tablespoons of toasted pine nuts, pignoles, <laughs> and then I've got, this is three cloves of garlic, <laughs> of garlic. You're Come so on. Did oh dear, what's that? Is it a dog? Uh, yes. <laughs> Hold on. Obviously, you garlic. can see um, he's doing this in our food processor. It yes. makes it super presto pesto. Uh, a third a cup of Parmesan, and then I've got the juice of a lemon. Nice. Yes. This is so flavorful and so easy. There now, if go. you're in a total pinch for time, Nowadays, you can find really good quality pesto at the store, but I'm telling you, fresh, homemade oh, is always going to be ridiculous. better. It's ridiculous. It's just something about fresh, fresh, fresh. Yes, and, something about and, it. And, and you're going out and picking it yourself. Yep. And then eating it. All right, <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. All right. So, and then I've got some salt here. I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon of salt and then probably the same amount of pepper. I like probably. My, I like my pepper. I do too. Quarter teaspoon. Okay. And I'm going to give this a good mix in real quick before we add the oil. There we go. Oh, the smell of this is just Look at so, that. so fresh Let's and so delicious. Let's see how we're doing. Do I need to do a little Yeah, give it a little push, push down. down and then oh, oh yeah, there we go. Doesn't that smell good? Woo! <laughs> I love pesto. We use it on, we do pesto pizza mm. as instead of tomato sauce. Wow. We that just did something. Oh, we did a French bread pizza with pesto. All right. That was really good. Oh, give, that's do, delicious. Give it another one more. Yeah, right. give it another. Let's do this. There you go. Okay. Get it good and, good and combined before you add the oil. Now I've got a third a cup of EDOO, extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> you got it. All right, this All should right. be fun. This is scary. I gave you an extra wide bowl. <laughs> good luck. Thanks. There we go. 
Yum. Oh, that's the magical stuff. <laughs> that's the magic happening before Let's our eyes. Let's look at that. Okay. Oh, beautiful. How am I? Let's see what it looks like, y'all. <gasps> that looks really good. Uh, look what you made, I Wesley. think I will have this for dinner. Look at that, y'all. It should be kind of like the, the consistency of a, kind of like a paste, mm. a, a thin paste sort of, but that is perfection. That's great. I'm going to stick this into this bowl okay. so that we can use it for our chicken. Oh. You want the spoon? Here, help me out there. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Uh, Don't this, get your chicken hands on it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, that's good. All this right. this recipe um, really feeds like eight people easily. Pretty. Um, we're doing it, cutting it in half just for the two of us because we're like four people. Love okay. It. So let's go ahead and do this. So now All what right. we're gonna do is we're just gonna spread this. Do you want to do that? All right. Let me do this. Here, how thick do I want to get it, Chris? Not overly thick, just kind of like a thin layer. I would say maybe two tablespoons. Um, and all of this pesto is going into this. So. Well, because I just took this, I just put this back in there. You so, what? Yeah, I just put okay. my spoon back in there. So okay, let's just do these two. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, they're great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I've that's... got some left over in here for okay, extra good. Anyway. Okay. Oh, there so we go. Now we're, okay, now good. we've okay, got good. some mozzarella. Okay, good. <laughs> we've got some mozzarella. We're gonna top that with just some good old shredded, probably like two tablespoons each. Y'all, this is so good. I know. This okay. has become my new favorite. It's almost like, um, because you put the tomato relish on top, yep. Yep. it's almost like a caprese, sort of like a, a different version Are of a caprese. caprese. I'm caprese. Okay, so now I'm gonna wash my hands after we do this. Yes, but now we both you, are. Yeah, we both are. Okay. You just roll it up, roly poly. Roll that chicken. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like a like, like a, a farm game. Yeah, <laughs> roll that chicken. <laughs> it's time to roll the chicken. Okay. All and, right. Some of the and so twine the helps. You could also use toothpicks. Um, that'll work. Something just to hold it in place for when you're when we sear these in yeah. a bit. One more. Okay, we're gonna Let tie this, this side here. up. Do the same side. thing, and then we're gonna do the rest of all of these, and then it's time to sear them. Yay. Okay, moving right along. We are cruising. Piece of cake. So look at these beautiful. These are all nicely rolled up. We rolled up. We smeared the pesto on the remaining cutlets, and then we topped with more cheese. Rolled them up, tied them up. Uh, we cut away just the excess string if you want to do that, no problem. And I've got. Um, I know I'm so excited. I've got two tablespoons of olive oil that I have heated um, in my nice nonstick pan. That just helps. And we're going to add that in. And we're just basically what we're going to do is we want to brown these. I'm going to crank this heat. Crank up. it. Come uh, on. Oh, come I on, hear that sizzle. I know, I know. This, <laughs> you never know with this. Um, anyway, there it goes. And uh, so, basically, we we're go. not fully cooking Ooh, these. Oh, that's a big one we're right there. That's a big, big mama. <laughs> we are uh, just searing these off just to kind of get that nice crust flavor, and then we're gonna finish it off in the oven. Yes. All right, let's make relish. Let's make, you guys, this is my favorite thing ever. This relish just brightens anything. And you can put it on a steak, you can put it on your eggs, you can put it on... I don't know. Yeah. You, you really relish this <laughs> I relish. relish. So I've got two cups of chopped fresh tomatoes, two tablespoons of balsamic. See, it's that kind of caprese feeling. I'm it is. You. It's caprese. I tell and you. then I've got a, <laughs> a tablespoon. <laughs> it's so stupid. I know. I just I can't it's resist. It's a stupid dad joke. And then I've got a teaspoon or a tablespoon of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. We'll be, we've got a consistent uh, run through of this of, of healthy pinch of salt. Nice, just, yeah. just a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. And then I've got my pepper over here this too. This is so simple. Just a pinch and of pepper. And the flavor com 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 matched against the pesto. It's so it's good. It's just incredible. The longer that you can let this sit, the juices of the balsamic and the tomatoes just all come together and it's like. Heaven. Heavenly. Yes. So now you're going to probably, when you notice this, this is totally normal to, especially Wesley really packed on the pesto, <laughs> which is good. I like that. So it's going to, but some of it may fall out. That's okay. It gives a little flavoring on the oh, outside. Oh, yes, of totally. So, all right, we're going to continue cook, cooking these until they're nice and browned all over. Then they go in the oven to finish them off. Oh, are these beautiful? Those are. Oh, I they know. smell and so the good. The smell is incredible. Wow. All right, so we've got our baking dish here, and I'm just going to give it a quick spray so that things don't stick. Yeah. Oh, and one thing that's really kind of fun. interesting about this dish is that when it cooks in the oven, <laughs> some of the cheese melts out, 
and it starts to get like uh, like kind of a crust. And then you pick that cheese up, and it's like a pasty <laughs> treat. It's like it's like fried pesto cheese. There's a little bit it's right there. It's so good. Yeah, when we we've been playing with this recipe for quite a while, and we every time we're like, well, uh, there's the mama. There's the we mama. We need to uh, turn that fried pesto cheese into a thing. It, it may already be because it's, it's so, so good. good. Now, like I said, some of that comes out in. It's okay, it bakes under there, and when you bake this, some of that's gonna come out. Some of the oil from the pesto is gonna come out. That's okay, it keeps the chicken really moist. So I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees. All this takes, <coughs> excuse me, is like 10 to 15 minutes until it just, it's almost cooked through. And then uh, it's ready to top it with that relish. That's right. I'm so excited. Oh, the moment is here. So excited. It smells so good. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Unbelievable. So these, I let these go for 15 minutes. You know, if you, again, because they were nice and thin, they cook, they don't take long to cook. If you have thicker um, cutlets, then you're gonna need to let them go a little longer. You can always check with an instant read thermometer of a, do you want an internal temperature of 165? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm just making sure everybody can see. Okay, so Don't now we're going to, we gotta take this string off, Wesley. Yes, so I I'm need right you to, here, I am right here. Okay. I am with you. This right. is a good one too. All right, we'll really I'll put, I'm gonna get these out of the way just so I don't know what you're doing with all of this stuff. Well, I was just getting the, there you go. Okay, let me just move this out of the way so we can get a clear shot for everyone. Okay, I'm snipping. You got it? I'm snipping. A little pair of kitchen shears helps mm -hmm. this process. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. It's hot, Chris. I that know. one's snipped already. You snipped it? I snipped it. You're such a snipper. I know. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, wow, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Smell so good. Let me get this guy. And you can let these rest for a few minutes. But um, not us. Not us. We love to. We love the, the danger of it all. Oh, I didn't. That would have rolled right off of here. That would have been, well, Flo would have loved it. Yeah, there you go. So I was going to tell you also what's really cool about this is in, in the morning before you're heading to work or whatever, you can get these already rolled up, ready to go, and then um, sear them off as soon as, you know, when you're about ready for dinner. And then it comes together really, really fast. Okay, I normally would <laughs> be brave and use my hands. On, oh, we won't do this seems yeah, like do that. Yeah, okay. do, do this one right here. I got it all ready for you, Chris, <laughs> so everybody can see it. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> All right, let me. Got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, so get a nice sharp knife. I'm using my favorite Japanese. <gasps> Yay. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Yay! That is so fantastic. And it's so, it's, it's those flavors that everyone enjoys. There's nothing exotic. The kids are gonna love this, I promise you that. I think the pesto plant is very exotic. The, you know, you have to go invest in a pesto plant because you know that's what makes all the difference. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> and we got our. Oh, got, that's gorgeous, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that cheese is goozing mm, out. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I love this. Is this is real? Like Wesley said, this has become um, one of our f favorite things to make, and we make it all the time. There you go. All right. I'm gonna. I know you like this. Here's some good ones right here. There you go. Oh, oh you want? Oh, go on. Oh, would you? Okay. Here, let me help. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dying. I know. All right. There we go. <laughs> you guys, look at that. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Can I have a couple more? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I know, we're gonna be devouring these things. You guys, oh, look at that, that is lovely. And you serve this with a little like rice pilaf, a little oh. crusty bread. You have got a meal I that- got a mound of stuff right here. There you go, Chris, just pour it on there. I'm going to. <gasps> And like I said, when you serve that, you saw in the opening video, you serve this over some rice pilaf and then with this relish. It's so beautiful oh, yes. as well as being delicious. Guys. Have we sold it, Aunt Tanya? We're really trying I'm to. Sorry. Yeah, we're, we're taking a lot of time here. I know. All right. I, um, wow, you guys, look at that. That is, I love how the little design is. Mm -hmm. See the design there? A little pinwheel. Yay. Okay. All right. We have enough talk. Enough talk, right? Exactly. <laughs> oh, that chicken! I can already tell it's perfectly yeah, cooked. Yeah, it's so. Oh. oh, I gotta get some of this relish. Yeah, the relish. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, Chris, I'm not getting the relish. I gotta get that relish. All right, here we go. 
<laughs> that simple little chicken breast that everyone's trying to figure out something good to do with, this is it. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to pour it all over. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, you guys. Good pesto, Wesley. Thank you, thank you. You did a really good job on that Unbelievable. old pesto. Unbelievable, this is so tasty. This is like superstar dinner. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and it's 100,000% percent Whoa! Whoa! That's a weak night. Weeknight chicken dinner got 100,000%. It's that good. It is so you guys, good, you so, guys. It's, and it's fun to make. It's beautiful. You're going to be the top oh, of the tail oh. when you make this. All right, everybody, we love you so much. Mm. Make chicken pesto mozzarella relish tomato. Roll it up. Roll, Roll with it, up. baby. Bye, everybody. <laughs>